friend. Um, this one is, um, I don't know if anyone here listens to Nusrat Fatih Ali Khan, obviously yes. I'm, I'm very, I'm very brown, sorry. Uh, so, uh, so I grew up um, really, he, uh, I found Nusrat through my dad, who used to play him all the time. Um, and so like, when I was little, I would sing along to him and I would sing gibberish because I didn't know what to do, obviously. Um, but this I wrote when I was listening to him um, while, while my plane was landing. So this is called um, Flight SQ-422, Singapore to Mumbai, listening to Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan at landing. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of the title. <laughs> Yours is the music of quiet 4 a.m. Of solitary afternoons that seem unending. Yours the music of desire, the exhale of the Urdu word for need, cha like the sound of a lung first learning breath. Yours the shape of my father's mouth turning into song. Yours the voice of sandpaper and husk, like the call for God coming out of a garbage truck throat. Yours the voice of surrender, 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 surrender to the longing of living, to all bottomless need, to be filled, to find another, to be whole. Yours the poet's knowledge of how to moan a word. Yours the low humming of all the world's restless stirring. Yours the yearning, the always and forever yearning. Yours the trembling lips of a muted string waiting to burst into passion. Yours the hunger of a fakir who has forsaken begging to shout from the rooftops. Yours the sweet wine of grief, the unbridled intoxication which you deliver like a lover's return. Yours the lust. Yours the notes that land like a hand tapping on the tight drum skin of my heart. Then the strum of the harmonica which struggles to keep up with your voice soaring into the sky. Yours the utterance of devotion. Yours the prophet's chant. Yours the treacherous winding road harmony. Yours the fevered ecstasy. Yours a wild animal wail from before words. The sound of the soul freed from the ribcage, from some ancient deep forgotten history. Yours, every exuberant end, and yours, every troubled beginning. I'll, um, thank you. Um, I'll end with a piece I wasn't going to do, but then I felt like I had to do it, so I'm going to do it. Um, so um, my music uh, is gangster rap. That's what I do. Anybody here a hip-hop fan? Yes! Okay, great. I forgot I was in KL, not Singapore. <laughs> if you don't know, Singapore is filled with Chinese people who don't listen to hip-hop. I'm not being racist, it's true! Um, so, the backstory to this is, um, when, I was, when I was growing up and I, and I used to go dancing, um, the hip-hop clubs were really just filled with um, Malay and Indian kids. And all my Chinese friends were going to like EDM and like techno clubs. Um, and I discovered this because like, when I wrote this piece, I was talking to my friend Joel about it, and he was like, what are these places? I've never heard of these clubs. So I realized, like, actually, we grew up in these clubs, like, we were just brown kids dancing in these clubs that um, Chinese kids didn't know about, and I thought that was fascinating. So um, this is a poem about my love for hip-hop, but it's also a poem about um, growing up minority. Over lunch in the NUS Arts Canteen, my classmate Dennis Ng in his baby pink polo tee with a pug monogrammed all over it asks me, hey, can I come with you to a hip hop club? You listen to hip hop, Dennis, I ask. Not really, but I know that one rapper, Snoopy Dog. <laughs> Sounds like fun. This is Singapore. It is 2002. It is Napster. It is Nokia ringtones. It is MSN Messenger. It is flip phones. Thank you, 90s kids. <laughs> My friends and I are drinking the only alcohol we can afford. Things like Bonkilo, like Cowboy and Black Cat. We are getting high from mineral water bottles filled with stolen vodka from our father's bars on sidewalks. There is no 10.30 p.m. law about where you can drink, depending on who you are. We are going to clubs where for $15, free flow starts at 11 p.m. and ends at 3 a.m. The red cup you are issued at the door is your party lifeline. Lose it and you flatline. 
As brown kids are dancing in places with names like Kilimanjaro's, Rum Runners, Zephyr's, Hendrix, Cream, Locks, Jams 2000, Vibes, Booba, Cheeky Monkeys, we are wearing wife beaters and baggy jeans, Timberlands and hoop earrings. We are dancing in rooms four feet wide and 11 feet long, dancing to protest songs, dancing to Tupac and Biggie, to Nelly and Ashanti, to Snoop and Dr. Dre, to DMX and Chingy. We are East Coast, West Coast. We are the streets of Chai Chi and Jurong. <laughs> we are brown skin grinding against another shade of beautiful brown. We don't know it then, but we will come to remember these spaces as sacred, where we are angry, but proud, where we are margins, but loud. See, some songs are songs of war. Some beats find you just in time to rock the confusion and anger of your heart. Some music is the music of difference, of being set apart. This is the music of the self-loathing, of the bullied, the injured, of the brave. These rhymes like a bullet for each word shot at your face. Gujalati, Punjabi, Mangali, Gundu, mother fucking Sami. This isn't music for the innocent. I don't think so, Dennis, I say. Uh, you're a beautiful audience. Um, can we also just give it up to Mel and her team for running this amazing night? Um, and for all the amazing poets who went ahead and are about to come, I'm really excited to hear you guys. Thank you very much.